Hello Kawawmat! So sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin on how to represent a transformation of an exponential function through its table, graphs, and equation. And also, graph transformation of exponential functions. The graph of f of x is equal to a times b raised to x minus c plus d. The value of b, kapag yung b natin is greater than 1, the graph is increasing. At kapag yung B naman natin is greater than 0 but less than 1, the graph is decreasing. The value of the absolute value of A determines the stretch of shrinking or the, of the graph. Further, if A is negative, there is a reflection of the graph about the x-axis. Reflecting graph. So first is the reflection of the graph. The graph of y is equal to negative f of x is the reflection about x-axis of the graph of y is equal to f of x. The graph of y is equal to f of negative x is the reflection about the y-axis of the graph of y is equal to f of x. So, for example, use the graph of y is equal to 2 raised to x to sketch the graphs Of the function, y is equal to negative 2 raised to x and y is equal to 2 raised to negative x. So, first, we need to have a table of values. So, may, kailangan munang magkaroon ng table of values para kapag pinat natin sa graph, meron tayong points na iplaplat. So, uh, you can assign any values ng x. So, sa uh, problem na to ang kinuha kong values ng x is from negative 3 to positive 3. And then, You can substitute the uh, values of x sa uh, tatlong function natin. So, negative 3. So, sa substitute mo yan from negative 3 to positive 3 sa tatlong function natin. Using your calculator or later using the GeoGebra, uh, you can generate the, the answer for the values of y. Okay? So, tingnan natin. So, this is now the table of values. The res this is the value of y. Using the three functions. Okay, so ito yung table of values natin ngayon. You can check using your calculator. Okay, so after plotting the points, uh, after getting the table of values, you can observe that, uh, you can observe the y-coordinate, so ito, the y-coordinate of each point of the graph of y is equal to negative 2 raised to x is the negative of the corresponding y coordinate of y is equal to 2 raised to x. So, thus the graph of y equals to negative 2 raised to x is the reflection of the graph of y is equal to 2 raised to x about the x-axis. And also, the value of y raised to 2 raised to negative x at x is the same as that y is equal to 2 raised to x at negative x. So, yung exponent natin to, negative x. Thus, the graph y is equal to 2 raised to negative x is the reflection of the graph y is equal to 2 raised to x about the y-axis. So, after that, we need to plot the points in the Cartesian plane. So, like this. So, we have negative 3 and 0.125. So, yung green na yan, yung, green, yung graph ng green, That is the graph of y is equal to 2 raised to x. So, ito yung mga ordered pair natin. So, negative 3, 0.125, 0.25, 0.1, 0.5, 0.1, 0.5, and then 1, 2, and then 2, uh, hindi ko na, uh, inano ko na, pinutol ko na yung graph. Next is, okay, so ito naman yung graph ng y is, equal to negative 2 raised to x. So, ito yung plotted points natin. So, ito yon, Ito yung values ng y. So, ito yung plotted points natin. So, nakikita nyo na ang y is equal to negative 2 raised to x ay reflection about x-axis ng y is equal to 2 raised to x. Yung isa naman, so again, this is yung green line, that is the uh, graph of y is equal to 2 raised to x. And then, Itong blue naman, yung graph ng y is equal to 2 raised to negative x. So, ito yung mga plotted points natin. 
As you can see, class, the graph of y is equal to 2 raised to negative x is reflected about the y-axis. Okay, so using the GeoGebra, you can uh, check the table of values. So, pwede nyo kunin yung table of values nyan. And then, uh, pwede nyo i... Uh, what you can see that? Pwede nyo ma-graph yung function using the GeoGebra. Okay, so paano gawin? So, type lang natin yung function y is equal to 2 raised to x. Okay. So, ito yung graph natin. Sige. Lita natin. Okay. So, paano natin kunin yung table of values na sinasabi ko? So, pindot nyo lang yung to. And click yung table of values. Lagay nyo dito negative 3. So, nakadepende kung ano yung inassign yung values ng x. Hanggang positive 3. So, ito yung sagot natin kanina sa table of values ng y is equal to 2 raised to x. So, ito na yon Ito yung mga plotted points. So, paano naman yung reflected na y is equal to negative 2 raised to x? Okay. So, ito yon So, ganun lang ang proseso. Kunin yung table of values. So, ito naman yung sagot niya dito. Ito yung sagot sa... Uh, y coordinate ng y is equal to uh, negative 2 raised to x. So, using the GeoGebra, makukuha nyo na agad ang sagot without using calculator. At mas mabilis. At makikita nyo agad yung graph. Okay, paano naman yung uh, isa? No? Yung isang reflection. Okay, sige. Bukas tayo ng isa. I-compare naman natin yung isa. So, y is equal to 2 raised to x. And then, assign the table of values from negative 3 to positive 3. So, baba natin para kitang-kita nyo. So, kapag nandito ka, ito lang yung pipindutin nyo, yung parang calculator para bumalik ka dito. Para i-type ulit yung next na function y is equal to 2 raised to negative x okay then kunin ulit yung table of values ayan so yan yung graph ng uh, y is equal to 2 raised to negative x so pwede nyo itong gamitin o kaya pwede kayong mag-download sa cellphone nyo ng GeoGebra graphing calculator uh, para kahit offline makikita nyo yung graph Okay, so balik tayo dun sa uh, discussion natin. So, what are the properties of y is equal to 2 raised to x, y is equal to negative 2 raised to x, and y is equal to 2 raised to negative x? So, yung domain ng tatlong graphs ay all, uh, set of all real numbers. So, from negative infinity to positive infinity. And then, uh, the range of the graphs is the set of positive real numbers. Sa, saan yun? Yung ito lang yon. Yung graph ng y is equal to 2 raised to x saka yung graph ng uh, y is equal to 2 raised to negative x. Set of positive real numbers. Pero yung, gra uh, yung range nito, that is uh, from negative infinity to zero. Kasi pababa siya. Ito yung graph nito. And the y-intercept of y is equal to 2 raised to x is 1. Bakit? So, paano ba tayo kumukuha ng y-intercept? Diba? Uh, ginagawa natin 0 yung x natin. So, kapag ito ay naging 0, so maging 2 raised to 0, any number raised to 0 is 1. Okay? So, kapag ito ay 0, and then may negative pa tayo dito, kaya siya naging negative 1. So, 2 raised to 0 still, the answer is 1. And all the graphs have the same horizontal asymptote. And that is y is equal to 0. Next is the vertical stretching or shrinking of the graph. So, let a greater than 0 be a constant. The graph of y is equal to a times f of x can be obtained by multiplying the y coordinate of each point on the graph of y is equal to f of x by a. The effect of vertical stretching if a is greater than 1 or 
vertical shrinking if A is greater than 0 but less than 1 of the graph of Y is equal to F of X. So, let's have an example. Use the graph of y is equal to 2 raised to x to sketch the graph of the function y is equal to 3 times 2 raised to x. So, ito yung value ng a natin. And y is equal to 0 0.4 times 2 raised to x. So, how we're going to graph? First, uh, we need to have uh, the table of values. So, you can use the GeoGebra or using your calculator para makuha yung sagot nyo dito. Okay, so as you can see, the y-coordinate of each point of the graph of y is equal to 3 times 2 raised to x is 3 times. Is 3 times the y-coordinate corresponding to 2 raised to x. So, minultiply lang natin itong sagot natin dito. Minultiply lang natin sa 3, kaya naku, pwede na yung na makuha to. Ganun din dito. So, yung sagot nyo dyan, multiply nyo lang sa 0.4, ito yung sagot nyan. Or you can use GeoGebra and Calculator to check and to get the answer of the values of y sa tatlong function na to. Okay, so, so nakuha na natin yung table of values. So, ipaplot na natin yung points natin sa Cartesian plane. So, tingnan natin maigi class. So, yung y is equal to 2 raised to x, ito yon yung green line. Yan yung base function natin. Ito yung base function natin. And then, yung y is equal to 3 raised to 2, uh, y is equal to 3 times 2 raised to x, that is the blue line. And then, next is the uh, red line to. Okay, this is a red line, so hindi na edit. That should be... A red line, okay? Okay. So, yung green line natin, yung y is equal to 2 raised to x, and yung blue line natin, that is the y is equal to 3 times 2 raised to x, at yung red line naman, that is 0 0.4 times 2 raised to x. Okay. So, you can use GeoGebra. So, paano natin kunin yan? O, same process. So, type nyo lang. Na-type nyo lang ulit yung mga graph natin. So, y is equal to 2 raised to x. Okay, so, lagyan natin ng table of values from negative 3 to positive 3. Okay, so, baba lang natin ng konti. And then, balik tayo para malagay natin yung isang function natin. y is equal to 3 times 2 raised to x. Okay, then lagay natin yung table of values And balik ulit Y yung equal 0 0.4 2 raised to X Okay, then table of values So, ito na yung graph natin Okay, so you can use GeoGebra Pwede rin sa cellphone Okay, so what are the properties of this graph? So, the domain of all graphs, so set of all real numbers pa rin. The range of all graphs is the set of positive real numbers, okay? And then, the y-intercept of 2 raised to, that is 1. The y-intercept of y is equal to 3 times 2 raised to x is 3. Why? So, kapag ito ay 0, so magiging 1 to. Times 3, kaya 3 yung y-intercept niya. Dito naman, uh, magiging 1 to times 0 0.4, kaya ang y-intercept niya is 0 0.4. Or, uh, yung coordinate natin dito ay 0, 3 or 0, 0, 0.4. And the graphs of the same, uh, have the same horizontal asymptote. And that is y is equal to 0. Okay, it's quiz time. So, you can pause this video and try to answer A, B, and C. Uh, given the two Function. So, first, you need to use transformation to describe how the graph is related to an exponential function, y is equal to b raised to x, and then sketch the graph and identify the domain, range, y-intercept, and horizontal asymptote. Okay, you can post this video and after that, uh, kasi yung next slide nito ay yung sagot na. Okay, so... For number 1, ito yung sagot for number 1.
And for number 2, so kung tama yung nakuha nyo, okay, congratulations. So congratulations in advance. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.